right, guys. Well, I'm back today with a classic for the channel, reviewing a high-value and budget item, and this time it's the brand-new Fiaci HL20. If you follow the channel, you may have seen this on there before. Well, this is the updated version, and it jumps from 400 lumens to 1,000 lumens. The overall design is still almost exactly the same, and it gives you a ton of different hardware inside the box to mount it to pretty much any pistol you can possibly think of. The really cool thing about this, though, is the MSRP of the original version was right around $60. The MSRP of the new version is right around $70. But before you start clicking away, this one is actually on sale right now for $56.69. On top of that, they've got included discount codes that you can redeem on the Amazon link that are just way too cheap and can't possibly last much longer. So my viewers who watch this first can jump on those discounts and deals and really save a ton of money and I'm talking a lot some of the biggest discounts I've seen on Amazon so you'll be able to head over to that Amazon link which will be in the description below and redeem those codes which will be on the Amazon link and if all else fails and you're watching this and all of those codes have disappeared because of Amazon's algorithm, you can actually use the code in the description below for a minimum of 10% off, dropping the price right down to about $50 for a 1,000 lumen weapons light, and that works out incredibly well. But again, there's much deeper discounts if you're one of the first ones to jump on this light after this video. Now, the Fiaci HL20 is a larger frame light. You can see that it is a little bit bigger than a lot of those micro lights comparable with some of the stream lights and o light full-size models now this particular one comes with a lot of nice stuff in the box including four batteries which is key you don't have to go out and buy those it runs off of two standard cr123a batteries and again it includes four of them in the box which is a nice touch especially with all the hardware. They also give you an instruction manual that explains everything you need to know about the light. But one of the main things I wanna focus on is the fact that it does have a thousand lumen output and an illumination range of 200 meters with an IPX5 water resistant rating. And these are all features that really step it up above some other budget weapons lights on Amazon. You would be surprised how many are requests I get for weapons lights that I turned down because of different reasons. Um, but this Fiaci really stuck out to me because of the new upgrades as well as the price and deep discounts that they're offering. The next thing I wanna mention is Callaway Ballistics for donating the nine millimeter ammo to help make this video. They just did a price drop on this stuff. And after my discount codes, you can actually get this as low as $10.70 a box. And it's been running perfectly down at the range. The code is 704 Tactical for 5% off and free shipping on orders over $200, so stack up your cart and save. Now, this weapons light is a nice light, and as you see in the intro, it definitely has a center beam. I really want to dissect the specs and features of the light and how it performs down at the range or inside your home for personal defense. Now that center spot is really nice because it's enveloped by a kind of floodlight. So it's a two type light. It's got a center spot and a floodlight allowing it to be very effective for distance yet also very effective for close up. The thousand lumen output is blinding and inside the home at night, it's definitely a lot of light to deal with. It doesn't have the ability to kind of go down in the lighting scenarios. You just get the high setting and the thousand lumen output is about as much as I would want inside the home, but it is definitely, it's, it's fine. It works out great. It's not overly bright. Again, it's right at that threshold and it will light up an entire room. There is no doubt that you'll be able to see everything you need to see. The other cool thing is if you're in a personal defense situation we need to shoot at a slight or greater distance than maybe five or seven yards. This is really gonna throw the beam. And if you wanted to mount it to some type of rail system on a long rifle, this is going to be perfectly capable of throwing that beam for a distance as well. So more of a jack of all trades rifle style. It mounts up with this 
uh, screw right here to the rail system and it locks up rock solid. It did not lock, walk loose of shooting it. It's been on for a few range trips as well as the original version with the uh, roughly the same design feature. has seen a lot of rounds on other lights or other weapon systems and it's been holding up great. So the durability of this light far exceeds a lot of the other Amazon special that you're going to find. Now, is this going to compete with Surefire and some other premium brands? I mean, know that we are talking about a sub $50 weapons light sub $40 after some of the initial discounts. So you have to keep that in mind. But what you're getting is a premium feeling light at that price point um, compared to other Amazon weapons lights. There's been so many that have shown up on the channel over the years, and I've just kind of tossed to the side or declined to review because they're just not worth it. This is one of the ones I keep coming back to because it's a solid light. Now, the actual construction of the light is very nice. Um, everything feels solid. The surface finish is nice. It mounts up rock solid. Uh, the battery compartment's pretty solid. And to operate the light, it's got the toggle on the back, very similar to the stream light, but it's opposite of what you would think. So down actually locks it into position, whereas down on a stream light is the temporary up on this is the temporary or down on the opposing side with your index finger. So it's opposite of streamlight and you'll have to get used to it. But I like this. I like the fact that if you're going to engage a target, you simply flip this down and boom, you can keep your finger in the trigger well while you're kind of searching. Also, if you did want to kind of uh, clear a room or duck back behind cover to engage your target and you wanted to go to that trigger, you can simply flip over right there. So it's just kind of muscle memory. There's no right or wrong way to have these toggles, in my opinion. It's just what you've learned, what you've trained with, and what you've practiced with. The head of the light remains fairly clean, even though it's near the muzzle, and I believe that's because the glass sits back ever so slightly. This will start dirtying up over time, but the way it's almost shielded by this top portion and the way it kind of drops down really protects it from that initial muzzle blast. You do see carbon building up on the top. I try to wipe that off as I go and try to clean my lights every time I shoot them so that doesn't build up over time, no matter what light it is, but it doesn't seem to be really enveloping the front of the lens quite as bad as some of the micro lights that are right up in that concussion area so something to consider the biggest negative of this light and it's going to be hard for this light to overcome it is holster compatibility i haven't had a single holster that fits the fiaci hl20 with any of the um, um, systems i have so pretty much what i'm relying on this is going to be some of those universal nylon or leather holsters as a truck gun weapons light so when you're looking at this setup right here, it may look like, man, this setup is, is really nice. You must have paid a ton of money for it. But in reality, the daggers right now you can get for as low as $250 plus shipping. The Wolf 2 or Sealy Optics and some of the other ones I've reviewed on the channel are as low as $80 depending on some of the uh, linking available on my Amazon campsite page. So you were looking at about $330 and then tack on another $40 or $50 and you're still sub $400 for this setup throw it in a generic nylon holster to protect the trigger inside your truck and you have a, a, a complete a weapon system with a red dot sight that's going to work a gun that's going to work and a light that's going to work is it going to be comparable to the thousand dollar setup that you may purchase no but is it going to get the job done yes this is a solid system for the money and i'm always trying to bring you guys high value and budget items that actually work again there are lights that i trust my life to and then there are lights for truck guns range lights and entry level lights and this one really takes the cake in my opinion for this price point so that's why you're seeing it on the channel and not the 30 other lights that i've seen on amazon and turned down i've got some time behind the gen 1 and the gen 2 version of this light and I'm a pretty big fan of it for the price, all things considered. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it gives you a ton of information about this. And if you're looking for any other Amazon deals or deals in general, definitely check out my campsite pages in the description below, as well as the linking and codes for this light will be in the description below. Now, those are Amazon affiliate links. So if you decide to click those, it helps out the channel at no extra cost to you. Just brings you right to the sale page. And Fiachi did send these lights out for review. So a huge shout out to these guys. Again, solid light, hard to find the holster, but a good budget option. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.